Let's start off at level one of the machine, which is the coin rejection. It's pretty simple. When you put in pennies, they're just a little bit too big to fit in because they hit this gray piece and this red ramp. Same with nickels and quarters. They're all just a little bit too big to be accepted. However, when you put in dimes, they are barely accepted. They just pass by this gray piece and this red ramp. And if we lift up this piece, you can see that it falls down a series of ramps into a hole down here. Now we're at level two of the mechanism. Now what happened is that when we put in the dime, it fell through a series of ramps falling right here, which is a very important spot for the coin to be, but I'd like to remove it first. And I also removed a piece that was right here so I can show what happens with the machine when it's free. So if this was free, it would just be a dispenser, meaning you push it back and then a Pez can fall in because this has been moved to a spot appropriate. And then when you pull it forward, it's dispensed to the customer. I'm gonna save that for a snack later. And you know, it's just simple back and forth, back and forth. However, if we put that in its original spot and put the blue piece back on, we have the peach peg and we have this blue stud that's popping out a little bit more than most of the other ones. And when we try pushing this, these are just hitting each other. And that means that this can't move. Pretty sad story, right? However, our dime fixes the whole situation. It lifts up this bar. Now you can see this is above the blue piece, which means we can push it now this is above the bar and it's moved. The dime fell down because there's a hole beneath it which drops it into the coin bank. We take our Pez because it falls right there. We can pull forward and it's dispensed to the customer. Mm -hmm. 